All right, this is going to be, I think, the fifth attempt to do this video. Um, I've been getting sound on when I play the video on my machine, but when I upload it to YouTube, it's not working. Um, so hopefully this will be the last time. Um, so as you can see, I'm working on updates to the LR1600-2. Most of it is for the hooks, because um, with the current crane, when you lift heavy items with a hook, the hook bounces. Um, and so with the LTM 11200, it doesn't do that. Um, so I'm going to a method very similar to that. Um, the main difference here is with the LTM 11200, you had to configure the number of lines on both the boom and the hook. Um, I've figured out a way to do it for this crane with just doing the hook. Um, so you'll be able to configure how many lines you want on the hook itself, um, and it will connect the correct attacher joint. Um, and the reason why that is, is with the current crane, all the hooks, no matter what, how many lines you have, go at the same speed. Um, but that's not realistic. And so with this, the number of lines affects how, uh, how far down the hook can go, but also the speed that the hook can travel. So here I've got 36 lines on this double block hook. Uh, I'm going to select uh, group 3 on the main crane. And then I can show you how slow it goes. <clears throat> I think it's faster than the LTM 11,200 biggest hook, but maybe not. It's been a while since I've operated it. But there you can see it's pretty slow. Um, so I'm going to lower the boom. Select the hook again, detach it. As you can see, you can see a number 36. So when you have the hook by itself, um, I've added numbers so you can see how many lines you have selected for that hook. Um, one issue that I'm facing right now is it doesn't matter which or how many pulley sets you have on. So I could set up a two block hook with two pulleys, I can set up a two block hook with a single pulley set, um, I can set up a single block pulley with two pulley sets up here. I haven't figured out how to keep that from happening because with two pulley sets you should have two blocks, with a single block you should have two one pulley set. It's something minor, I know, but irritates me, but I, <laughs> I may not be able to fix that. All right. Um, so I'm not going to drop the pulley sets, just so you guys can see that it will hook up no matter what. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to exit, get to the hook, and let's configure. Okay, so here's the base configuration. Um, I don't have all the pieces yet. I mean, I have the pieces, I just don't have them implemented for you to be able to actual, actually assemble the hook. Um, but at some point I will have you be able to build the hook. And then this is where you select the number of lines. So you can see, just like that. Um, or you can have it pre-built. Um, so you can have two lines with a single block, four lines, four lines with a double block, six lines, eight lines, eight lines with a double block, 10 lines, 12 lines, 12 lines with a double block, 14 lines, 16 lines, 16 lines with a double block, 18 lines, 20 lines with a double block, 24, 28, 32, and 36. Um, since you saw the 36, let's go with a two line block. And get that configured. Get jump back in the crane, attach the hook. You can see with you having two pulley sets, it doesn't line up right. Um, at least with this, but for this, it's for testing, and we'll see how it goes. Um, so I'll lift it up. I'll lift the boom up, and now we'll move the hook. As you can see, it goes much faster. Um, I do. You can attach a single line hook. Um, I just don't have those configured yet for the new attacher types. Um, I wanted to get the 
biggest hook working with and make sure the crane was working. Um, but that is an option that will be available. And you'll also have um, all the other hooks. Uh, so you got a single line, a one sheave, uh, a one sheave hook, three sheave, five sheave, six sheave, uh, 10 sheave, and then the 18 sheave. Um, right now, only the 18 sheave has been configured for this, but all of them uh, will be set up to be able to do the same thing. Um, oh, I do have, you can attach the block weights individually if you want for now, um, but they also configure in there. Um, you've also got, this is the same crane with the W boom setup. Um, for some reason the tip pulley set attachers aren't working, um, but as you can see you can attach a hook here you will be able to attach a hook here um, at the end. You will also be able to attach a boom nose here. You can also attach a boom nose here like you can the current crane. Um, and so on this setup, any setup with a, uh, like this, so the W style boom with a luffing jib, you can get up to six hooks, or sorry, three hooks. Um, I said six because the boom nose uses winch six. <laughs> To lift this uh, this uh, attachment point here uses winch two, and the main S boom uses winch one. So this uses winch one here, winch one, winch two, and then anytime you add the boom nose, whether it's here or here, that uses winch six. Um, the fixed boom, if I remember correctly, I think I had it set up for winch two as well. Um, so this one and the the fixed uh, jib will will use winch six or sorry winch two. All right. Hopefully this video works. We'll catch you guys around.